On the last Sunday in May, the Indy cars will fight with this historic roadway for the 75th time. It is a simple rectangular path, 50 feet wide, two and a half miles long. Today, the historic ritual begins. The goal of every man here is to win, but to win, you must first qualify. Drive fast, then faster still. The speedway is rimmed with concrete walls that can be unforgiving. A momentary lapse can spell disaster. The risks are tremendous, but the rewards are historic. The speedway can be hard, even on her favorite sons. These were the remains of Rick Mears' car yesterday. Just past two in the afternoon, the three-time winner hit the wall for the first time in his Indianapolis career. A simple mechanical failure destroyed a million-dollar machine in a matter of seconds. But the car's final act was to save its lone passenger. Rick climbed from the wreck, smiled at his rescuers. There was pain in his walk, but his eyes burned with desire. Three hours later, he was strapped back in the cockpit of a new machine. To Rick, the accident was already history. His focus remained on the race ahead and his dream to go faster still. But it's not just Rick. Kevin Cogan is here with Buick Power. A surprise, but he's a definite possibility for the pole position. You know, this car may be, uh, may be the best race car I've ever driven here. For Kevin, there have been other cars, other moments. The dream can become a nightmare. I was a victim of that, just like Rick was a victim when he hit the wall uh, this afternoon. So it's something that, you know, enters your mind occasionally, but you just got to not think about it. Rick's teammate, the 1989 winner, Emerson Fittipaldi, climbed to the top of the order with the fastest lap of the week-long practice. The biggest surprise of the week was Buick Power, not just in Kogan's car, but in Gary Bettenhausen's. His father died here, chasing his moment in motorsports. Gary races for the family name. Defending champion Ari Leyendijk, just off a win in Phoenix, kept his momentum going. The biggest moment was the return of A.J. Foyt, a living Speedway legend, back after nearly ending his career in a crash last fall. All of the veterans here know to be fast requires absolute precision. Well, the, the biggest problem is if you're off just a little, you're not going to drop only a couple of spots. You're going to drop two, three rows. Rick Mears is racing perfection. Within minutes of returning to the track, he was back flat out, turning laps above 226 miles an hour, just as quick as before. But one man's dream can be another's disaster. At the exact moment Rick returned to his team, rookie Mark Dismore was fighting for survival. In a matter of seconds, the speedway was littered with the evidence that the quest for speed can take a very heavy toll. But then came the biggest surprise of all. Dismore was conscious, injured, but alive, and should be able to race again. As yesterday turned tonight, the speedway had reminded all that the quest for ultimate speed is long, fast, and demanding.